In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an animated pie chart right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you first just want to begin by creating a new shape layer. So we'll go up to the top bar of After Effects, we'll select this rectangle tool here, but we'll drag down to the ellipse tool and select the ellipse tool. Now we want to go across to fill and stroke and we want to select the word fill and not the box. So select the word fill and then you want to select none. So that basically means there's going to be no fill inside this. We only want the stroke. So select stroke, select a solid color of your choice. So we'll select solid color. Then we'll go into the box and we'll change this to a color of your choice. I'm going to start off with a blue. Press OK on this and then you just want to increase the stroke a little bit. Now just hold shift on your keyboard and draw out a circle roughly in the middle of your composition. But don't worry about making it perfect. Now from here you want to turn on the proportional grid. So we'll turn this on. Select the shape layer and press A on the keyboard to load at the anchor point. Alternatively you can just go into the drop down arrow, transform and anchor point is there. Now the anchor point is this point in the middle, it's this circle here. And an anchor point is basically where the animation is going to come from. So if I was to rotate this, you can see it's going to rotate around this anchor point. And because the anchor point is not in the center, this looks off. So in order to fix that, I'm just going to change the value of the anchor point to put this circle in the middle like this. There we go. Now from here, I'm just going to increase the size of this. Then I'll go into contents, ellipse one, stroke one. And as you can see, we've got this stroke here. So I'm just going to begin by increasing the stroke width. So we'll increase this until it becomes this big circle like this. Then we're going to select add and we want to go to trim paths. Then we'll go into the trim path option. And as you can see, if I pull the start round, then we're getting this animation taking place. But it's going the wrong way if we do the start. We want to start off and then animate on, but we want to go clockwise as opposed to anti-clockwise. So keep the start at 0% and then we'll pull the end round to 0%. Create a brand new keyframe on end by selecting the toggle animation or the stopwatch icon. Then we'll go roughly one second to the right and pull this up to 100%. Now when we zoom out, you'll notice that this is going to animate on. And if you wanted to increase the gap, and if you wanted to slow this down, then you just increase the gap between those two keyframes. So we'll just drag these apart like so. So there you go. You've got the first part of your pie chart animation now complete. At the moment though, that animation just looks a little bit boring. So I'm just going to highlight both of those keyframes. We'll select one of the keyframes, select keyframe assistant, and we'll select easy ease. And when we play this back, you'll notice that's just going to smooth out that animation and just make that look a lot more pleasant. So from here, we're just going to duplicate that shape layer. So we'll go Command C, Command V. We'll go to the layer on the top. Go Contents, Ellipse 1, Trim Paths, and then we can animate the end to a smaller number. So let's go for 70% in this example. And make sure when you do that, make sure you're hovering over this keyframe. If you do it over here, then it's just going to create a new keyframe. So make sure you're hovering over the last keyframe. But unfortunately, we can't see what we've done. And that's because the shape color is blue as well. So we need to change the shape layer color. So we'll select the shape layer. We'll go up to the top bar of After Effects, select the stroke color box, and we'll change the color of this. So let's go for a red and press OK on that. Now, when we play this back, you'll see we've got this awesome. Now, when we play this back, you'll see the pie chart animation is starting to get there, but I'm just going to add a few more sections onto this before we finish. So I'm just going to copy and paste this shape layer. So shape layer two, command C, command V, or if you're on Windows, that's control C and control V. So copy and paste. Then we'll go into the drop down arrow, content, ellipse one. We'll go trim paths, hover over that last keyframe, and we'll pull this down to 40. And then we'll go up to the stroke color, and we'll change this to a different color. So yellow in my example. So let's play this back. And as you can see, that's looking really awesome. Of course, you can add another one on. I'm just going to do one more. So we'll copy and paste that. Go drop down arrow, content, ellipse one, trim paths, hover over that last keyframe, and we'll pull this down to 10. Then we'll change the stroke color to a, let's go for a purple or a dark blue somewhere around there. We'll press okay on that. 
And now when we play this back, you'll see we've got this really awesome pie chart animation taking place. Now, if you wanted to speed up this animation, then all you would have to do is just increase this. So we'll just increase this work area. Then you want to highlight all of the end keyframes. So highlight all of those, and then we'll just drag those closer to the beginning. And when we play this back, that's nice and quick. And if we increase the gap, that's going to slow that down. And that's much slower now. But I'm going to keep it roughly at around one and a half seconds, somewhere around there. And of course, you can always just move these second keyframes over on the individual layers. So if we move these all over to their own timings, you can see that is how this looks. So I'm just going to increase the size of this player just so we can actually see that properly. There you go. So you can see this animates around and then they all slowly fall into place. So if you wanted to go for that, then that is an option for you. But then all you have to do here is just add on the text animation. So I'm just going to begin by closing down all of these shape layers. So we'll close these down. Then we'll go up to the T icon on the top of After Effects, the horizontal type tool. Select anywhere on your composition and we'll just type out value one. Let's go for. And I'll just move that next to value one. We'll change the scale of this down. So we'll change the font size. And if you can't see this character window, by the way, then go up into window character and make sure there is a tick there. So we've got this text. Now we just need to animate this on. So we can do this one of a few different ways, but we'll just go for a nice, simple pop up. So we'll go to the very beginning. We'll press S on the keyboard to launch scale. Or alternatively, you can just go into the drop down arrow, transform and scale should be there. Now we'll go roughly a second to the right and create a brand new keyframe on scale. We'll go back in time a few frames increase the size of the scale. So in this example, I'm going up to 140. Then I go back a few frames and we'll go to naught. So that's going to bounce in. Of course, if that's too slow, then again, just decrease the gap between those keyframes and that will increase the speed of that. There you go like that. And again, we're going to change these keyframes to ease in keyframes. So keyframe assistant, ease in or easy ease. That looks a lot better, but the problem is this is out of time. So we're just going to nudge this over to the right. And that now is doing what it needs to do. So we just need to copy and paste this three times for values two, three and four. So we'll go command C, command V, V, V. Or again, if you're on Windows, that's control C, control V. Then we'll just change this to value. Then we'll just move value two down to the red area of the pie chart, value three can go down to the yellow part and then value four can go up to the purple section. As you can see though, it says value two, three and four, but at the moment it still says value one on all of these. So we're just going to work through these and just change the values, change these names. Of course, it doesn't have to say value in your example. This is just my example. Of course, you can actually put what this correlates to. But when we play this back, you can see that's how this looks. If you wanted them to stagger on, so we start at one, two, three and then four then just pull two over a few keyframes, pull three over a few more, pull four over a few more. And when we play this back, we get this staggered entrance like so. So that is the pie chart animation essentially now complete, but I'm just going to do one more thing to add more control in your life when it comes to this animation. So we're just going to go layer, new, null object, or we'll highlight everything except for the null object. And we're going to focus on this section here, this little lasso, this parent pick whip selection tool. Essentially, what this is doing is it's going to link these highlighted layers to the null object. And that means we can control the scale rotation position of all of these layers at the same time using the null as the control for this. So we'll drag this onto the null object. And now when we go into the null object, we can go transform. We can pull the scale down and we can move this to wherever we want this to go. So I've pulled the scale down and I've moved this position up to the top left corner. And this means you can now just go ahead and add more animation or you could add more information into your slide. Alternatively though, if you just wanted to keep this in the middle and just export this from After Effects like this, as you can see, because there's no black video here, this is actually on a transparent layer, which means you can export this for Premiere. And in order to do that, all you have to do is just go composition, add to render queue, and that will load up the render queue window. So we'll just go render settings, best settings. Everything here should be left how it is. Output module should be 
QuickTime, post render action none, channels RGB and alpha. The alpha is the transparent layer. So if you export RGB, then you'll get your graphic on a black video. But if you go RGB and alpha, you'll get this on a transparent video. Then you want to go depth millions of colors plus, colors pre-multiplied, okay. Output two, and this is just your name and destination. So put this on your finder. Then we'll just render this out. After Effects is just going to take a second to render this. And then there you go. You've got this really awesome pie chart animation that you can drop into Premiere Pro, into Sony Vegas, into Windows Movie Maker, into any editor of your choice. But there you go. That is the pie chart animation successfully completed inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.